Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we enable auto refresh on the web page in the servlet. So for enabling the auto refresh, what we have to do, we have to use the header called refresh to enable the refresh on the web page. And we can use this response dot set header. This is a header value. And uh, here we have to give the second. That means after how many seconds it uh, the web page will refresh this is in the string format and if we want to give in the integer set int header so what are the use cases to enable the auto refresh on the web page first one is live live game square uh, score so if you are making the application which shows the live game score so in that case what will happen the you have to re auto refresh this page because the game score will be increased or decrease after some time second one is clock option so in the clock clock option what's happen every second the time will be changed the second will change after 60 second minute will be changed and after 60 minute hour will be changed so in that case also we can use and next one is stock market share values then cricket score or any match score so let us see practical we will uh, see by using this clock option how can we do that and we will set the refresh so here i have already created one web project and here this is test pros then in the src main java we will create one servlet so right click on this new and go to class and here we will create clock servlet and finish so here we have to extend from what HTTP servlet so extend HTTP servlet so for importing this control shift o press control shift o then we will write here two methods that is to get control space enter and do post control space enter and we will call this if from do post we will call do get do get so and we'll write a logic in the do get for the clock so here we will take response so first step is get the print writer because we are printing the clock means hour minute and second so first of all for printing we have to get the print writer print writer so copy this and here we go pw equals to res response dot get writer response dot get writer and importing this print writer for control shift o press control shift o and it is important now next set the content type how can you do that response dot set content type and here we'll get uh, mime type as text slash html next what we'll do uh, we'll use here local date time class local date time so local date time ldt ldt let me import this control shift o here we can see uh, Java dot time dot local date time is important. Now here what we have to do, ldt dot local date time dot now means it will provide our the current our minute and second. So how to print this? So here we have to print on the web page. So we will use here pw dot print ln and here we will use in the s2 we will print that s2 and let me close this s2 and in that we will print first of all ldt dot get our then uh, plus colon the next one is ldt dot get uh, what uh, minute then we have to do here colon then for uh, last one is ldt dot get second and this is done and here we have to do semicolon so what we will do 
in the h2 tag we are printing so we will get here hour then colon then we will get the minute and colon then we will get the second and at the end close the strip strem stream pw dot close so here we are time uh, printing the what current hour minute and second so let us see run as run on server and i am using here tomcat 9 then click on next and click on finish it will take some time and will open in the browser so here you can see our uh, project you can see test project but what we have to do here in the servlet we have to give the url so for that we have to here web servlet and we will uh, give here uh, url clo ck and it will re refresh let me refresh from here we'll again run this on the server right click on this run as run on server tomcat click on next and finish yes now this is coming now we will uh, give the request to our servlet so what is the url pattern clock is your platinum let me copy this and go to the browser and after the slash we have to give the url pattern of servlet that is clock and if we take here and here you can see it is not refreshing we have to do manually for refresh so it is refresh refresh we refresh so we have to do here manually refresh so for avoiding this you can use this refresh header so by using these two ways you can use this response header refresh so how to use this let us see so what we will do after this printing we will use here response dot set header and uh, we will take here header value as refresh and and we will take here we are using set error so we have to give in the string format and after one second it should refresh so here we have taken now if we go to the browser and after refreshing this so what's happening here response dot set header and one it is yes it is refreshing you can see i'm uh, i'm not clicking on this refresh it is uh, doing automatically you can see here it is auto refreshing and uh, our second is getting here you can see every second it is after this 60 it will uh, change minute yes you can see 17 to 18 and it is going now there is another way we can do that uh, if i close this and we can use here response dot set int header and here we have to give the header value as refresh and at this place we can give directly integer and if i save this now it is loaded if we go to the browser and if i refresh once again here you can see it is auto refreshing so 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So you can use this auto refresh. So how to enable the auto refresh on web page? Use the response header that is refresh to enable the refresh on the web page. And there are two ways by using the set header and set int header. And use cases are this clock option, stock market share values, cricket score, and live game score. So this is a way we can enable auto refresh on web page.